Fala galera, tranquilo? Estou aqui no início do vídeo para convidar todos vocês para participar da nossa comunidade Aleartes, um grupo relacionado especialmente para CSGO. Vamos trocar bastante ideia sobre o jogo, sorteios, lobbies, mix com a galera e outras novidades exclusivas para todos que estiveram no grupo. Então não perde tempo, é de graça e infelizmente as vagas são limitadas. Link vai estar na descrição do vídeo, basta descer a tela aí e entrar, fechou? Vejo todos vocês lá, é nóis guys! Kanzi definitely have what it takes to, to go toe to toe as we saw last night. This buy shouldn't be the end all be all for for Nanzi thus far though. Complete save in that sense, just a P250 on Buddha and a Deagle on DGT. Nice shot, DGT actually manages to find a second as well. That's decent damage, but he's about to walk into his death. Fakes out NQZ nicely, but he knows that he's got three rifles about to peek him, and that's a fortunate timing on the smoke. Probably should have kept his gun out in that scenario, and Buda headshots Cold Zera out of the round. He's advancing toward Walter as well, but that's a good answer back from NQZ. Trade from David, though, is too strong. Now Lato, if he's advancing, he needs a kill right now, because David is up close, and just as he pulls out his utility, that's when... David swings, and that forces Lato into ABC on very low HP, and it's an easy kill. That's going to force Dumao away to save the M4. And I mentioned it yesterday, Paladin. Max creeping up, and Dumao trying to double spot these positions, and I think he might have seen try. So that's now a lot of information, and Max is going to try and pounce off the back of it, and even though Cold's blind, he's going to get that opening frag. He's stuck behind the site, though. There's so many players to deal with, it's going to be a, a bit of a brawl toward this side of the map. Next gets one, next gets two, almost a third. Try... Now one versus two, but NQZ is already here. Forces 9Z to set up a new game plan. Targeting B won't work any longer, at least for the time being. And instead, they find an opening on the other side of the map. Try on the NQZ. The NQZ actually hits the first shot, but Try converts. And meanwhile, Stereo frags on the B site. 9Z sitting pretty with the man advantage. Not necessarily the best, but they can definitely sit on this 4v3 for... Cord Long is going to have to step up all on his own here. First player is low, but there's more coming his way, and they actually line up, but it was kind of one player up, one player down. Three versus two, rotation is quick from next, and here comes the Molotov toward Van to push them away from that position. And Cold is now lurking up connector, but DGT is still staring at it. What is, he go is he actually going to go deep to check it? He is. Now, Cold has a lot of pressure, though. Drops the bomb, and oh. he even gets a second, too. That's sick from Cold. And it puts Buda in a really tough situation, and he oh, even oh, holds oh. the fort for the and third. And jump spot it, and in comes the bounding Glock to try and get the AKs into the action. And QZ will get the first. There's a lot more coming his way, and they play the headshot angle nicely. DGT gets that frag, but Jamal now is going to bail this round out. Max needs to push him down, but there's another player in action. Of course, it's cold to help out right at the right time. Okay, yeah, then I, I would go. I would go to playgrounds all the time. I, I don't know if I was if you were rich like that. Travis. Okay, calm down. <laughs> we should do a phase play. We can answer the question. We'll answer the question later because there's a fight coming into Wood Monster. There is a nation play the smoke fade and try and double up, which is a very common play on the monster position actually on CT side. But 9Z managed to go two for one. So we've got a player in water, and of course we've got NQZ now rotating back toward heaven, and there isn't a smoke in action yet to block that off. Try has one, but it's not being used as of yet. He'll now deploy it. Now utility is gone for 9Z. a big lurk from Jamal, caught by Lato. That's a huge one to take. And now, with the water players known, Buddha has to try and look for this frag. Dancing around in the water. Still a three versus three. Big headshot from Dumal. Bomb will go down from Try. And QZ could have gone for that wallbang if he really wanted to, but Try will advance his position anyway. So it's all down to DGT. Headshot angle toward the back of Jail. As the first duel hits the headshot, but NQZ reacts quickly. It's actually come in. So instead, Zero Zero Nation opts to be a little bit more aggressive this time around. NQZ queued up on the playground. And so was Lotto to try and set things up. It's a common setup in, in Tier nice. 1 CS. And that's the kind of trap springing. And Lotto and Dumal, the deadly duo for 0 0 Nation <laughs> yeah. throughout this qualifier, chime in for some huge, huge kills, leaving it to just DGT. I was about to say, it's, you know, Lotto and Dumal, those are the. It's a lot of work that they have to do, but, but they're, they're still getting wins on the board. And, and getting yeah. to this grand final tonight has been 
definitely a, a pretty decent accomplishment oh, for them. Oh, Lato. He, he wanted ridiculous. to go aggressive. Yeah, he wanted to get the town and take fountain control. And I felt, honestly, if he stuck himself there and just made sure he was behind the biggest part of the fountain, then maybe he would have actually stayed alive for a little while longer and had a chance at a duel. But no, he just got destroyed. The South American side to pick apart. And so Zero Zero Nation decided to actually gamble inside a bathroom. That's just fade here, but Dumal only gets one. Oh, but, but the Colter bomb's is, been redropped yeah. though by Cold, so it's kind of in the open, and there's feels like there's not really anyone as close as you'd expect to trade that one. So while Cold is on his own here, he should get taken down and will be by try actually in the end, not even David. It was a little bit scary for a second, especially with the time on the clock, but has to make noises. I think he thinks that he's been spotted too. He holds it a wide angle and hits another headshot to end off the half. Two rotations do come in, but they've got to come in thick and fast because Zero Zero Nation are hot on their heels. Right, looking to defend from the back of Dice, but now he's going to get spawned upon, so he's under a lot of pressure. And he's manages to go one for one, and then DGT gets into the action to help out. Bomb is dropped in the open, but DGT getting pressured up close by Dumal. The grenade damage and look at the push towards short at the meantime too that's a pinch and a half from 9z looking to go aggressive with that ump and in the end actually even though it's only a one for one oh i say only a one for one look at where lato is he's behind the play on b they have no idea but that's a great recovery from dgt what a huge kill that could prove to be very smartly done there with dgt unlucky to not be able to convert con or something like that. It's strange, isn't it? I think what he's just tr doing is trying to sell a fake. At least get one kill, and it will pull rotations over. It's actually pulled two rotations over, but Dunal needed that kill to make this play work. And while it has opened up the B bomb site for next, there is a rotation coming back in just to double check it. That is Buddha. Right, he's to come in, and just as he pulls out the bomb is when Buddha. These side anchors on the B site should definitely be aware of what could come in the seconds here. David actually, I even came spray through the smoke to find Lato. Lato has not had the impact as much as his previous games so far today. Ramp keeping up towards short, but again he's just here trying to try and set a fake. He's on his own. The bomb is all the way towards long and I have to resort to a run boost to take it. Straight across the angle, but there's no one here to glance at it, so they'll be fine. But there's that look removed by David, and that just kind of removes the entire plan, basically. Potentially just walking into the blender here. Try defending, and actually, with the help of that smoke has a free range to try and peek a little bit further around toward long. And honestly, he should have been caught out in that position, because uh, there was a gap on that smoke that I think it might have been cold, well, had a gap for. Feeling a little bit of pressure, and actually, look at this fade here from buddha you might catch lotto completely off guard nqz is actually set up for some utility but they re-smoke it oh. oh i think that's nate has hit him square in the face but buddha still gets the kill that's but a max big kill, does though. go down yeah on the other side of the map so definitely a route into this a site here dgt under pressure he is player coming from long player coming from in and next is creeping up silently as well so they might not know he's so far up you know the rotations are coming in and yes dgt just falls back a pixel and it gives the frag to next the try is still here and this angle is so hard to find jamal is playing the perfect position bomb will go down with a few seconds to spare so they can play out this three versus two but buddha's flank could work out cold is giving it a glance and he's got the right angle for it and he manages to sort it out so no worries in the end try can go for this can try this clutch because he's got twelve thousand dollars in the bank and at least looking for exits would be smart got a kit got a flash could so even zero zero nation do well to convert that one this time around another opportunity for zero zero nation to climb back into this and gather some some honor around so to speak and Lotto just gets too clean through the smoke. They try to catch the smoke fade. They've been trying to get sneaky with it for a couple rounds now, and finally, Lotto punishes. PGT. I mean, to fall back towards CT, and they're now forced to go for a bit of aggression to look for more, and look where, look how far Try has gone through, right? All the way through long. 
has a sight line all the way from fountain to T steps and he might be in a good position for a quick flank on A, but it's going to need to be a bit quicker than it is right now. And Dumao is up very quickly and that spot is a bit awkward. Max has to go for an immediate swing as he knows he's been spotted. And he gets removed. Two versus five. Oh, and in try will even get checked by NQZ as well. That's a really nice find. No risk at all now for Zero Zero Nation. DGT. We'll try and save, because now this save actually means something. Try might have that bank built up, but he's the only one with the bank. He might get found out here by Lotto. He spots the barrel, so at least DGT can get, can get an upgrade. Right, he AK should be the insurance seven. policy, but he's not choosing to swing as of yet. Next looks for it and immediately takes it. What an important shot that could prove to be. Max is now forced down connector thanks to that kill, and the smoke will allow Dumao and Cole to make their way out into short. Oh. It's not a good smoke though, so he should get caught in the back, but again it's a whiffy one, and then comes the play from next. It forces the crouch, and Max is now very stuck. Jamal taking try in the meantime, huge frag, and Zero Zero Nation, despite the health, are fighting through this one. Nowhere for Max to run, nowhere for him to hide, but they've still got two players on this B side, they're trying to trade their way through. It really comes down to this fight if there's anything left to say in the round, and Cole does convert it at last. David continues to burn in water down to just two points of health. And 9Z cannot string together their 15th. Zero Zero Nation decide to reorient themselves, not to deal with David any longer. Get that bomb plan on A. David tips his hat and says, I'm also low as well. I'll hold on to this AWP. And we'll head into round number 25 with Zero Zero Nation confirming double digits here, Trav. After... A complete stalwart defense from 9Z. It felt like this map was over and done with, but perhaps there's just a little bit of legs to this one. The legs are growing. No doubt. Fighting their throw way through to a tenth, and this AWP gets saved. It's good, but doesn't afford them much else in the next round, so great spot for Zero Zero Nation to be in. Can easily start putting pressure. A bit of a difference. Difference maker now. And Cole could be about to catch David in the back too. This round is done. There it is. No orb to be saved. They're around 2,400, 2,700. Try is actually going to set his teammates up with this pop flash, depending on what contact comes in. And here it comes, actually. David close up, but another nice entry from next. There are so many more players here to face, and it's an even trade from Buddha, but now he's going to be out of bullets. But for the last two in the clip, he gets another kill, and it pulls up the USB oh. to take NQZ as well. What a critical hold that is. Dumao has got a chance to recover the situation, but Buddha's on for an ace here. And he's repositioned to a nice spot on the right side of the monster too. Research can come in. That locks Dumao out, and now they know where he is. That was uh, so unlikely for Buddha to actually get that third kill and then finish up for the fourth with the pistol. Two bullets needed to be hit. He had two bullets and he hit them. Yeah, ammo management was very, very well done there from Buddha. And Tumau in a, quite a difficult scenario. 25 kills in the map. He's done very well to get to this point. He spams out DG down to 1 HP. Yet, is he aware of a second player? No, he isn't. Buddha completes the Removing eight. rocks from this lineup. It felt yep. as though 9Z had made the wrong decision. It felt like perhaps there was another personnel change that could have been a bit more efficient. But this guy has shown some real resilience to play at some top lands. And now he's showing why they've brought him on in the first place. 25 kill game of his own right. Very well done to him to really muscle 9Z over the line here. Oh, nice shot from next. And again, it's kind of uh, falling apart a bit for 9Z in this one. Very odd round, right? I mean, just raw aim duels being taken all across the map and Zero Zero Nation coming out on top every which way. Bomb plant comes out on the A side and David is... In an awkward scenario here, trying to get out with his guns, but Zero Nation are definitely going to be on the hunt at this point. Still have got money to run with. Battling against map point, you want to try to nick as many rounds as easy as possible here on this comeback to try and secure overtime. 
Yeah, they're actually going to be hunting as well, which is a smart thing to do because that AWP was available to be recovered on short. I reckon Buddha would have tried to go in for that if he wasn't being pressured. And now David is going to try and do that himself. But he's going to be in between a tough position now. Is he going to go for it? I think he knows it's towards short with that Molotov. And he's oh. actually going to circumvent Lotto entirely, and bomb. that's the bomb. The bomb has been dropped, and another kill's been given over, and he finds Lotto lurking in mid. So all the information has been given over to 9Z, and surely this is where the end is nigh for 0 0 -8. You'd think so. Cole has to use his smoke to hop across the angle. DGT still is comfortable on this angle, and now he has support from David as well. Double spray down for him. And now Lato, his flank was very much known. Nine seconds, he's about to be spawned by everyone, and Max will get that final kill to sort it out. Great stuff from 9Z. They will manage to take their map pick of over... Exactly. Utility being used. Flash is coming out to now. All first of all, apartments. But David is still here with the dualies. He spams away with two. Those dualies always seem to get a multi kill from that sort of position, don't they? Try then swings wide toward ramp, looking for Lato and Ooh. taps him beautifully. And Amal is left a day late and a dollar short. Really tried to sell something with that B attack, but. I think a couple of footsteps had been heard by David underneath balcony and that must have been relayed over. He does very well to get two, tried as very well himself to get a multi-frag as well. And Dumao is left with just a flashbang, no armor, time desperately going down and try ends it with the triple kill tonight. And it's going to be a fast A execute straight away. Bragging. Gets himself two from the edge of default. That on Texas in the mid jump up. And Nato will remove him, but Max is there once again to keep the advantage for 9Z. Oh. That's going to be a nice Molotov from Cold, and he hears Buddha retreating into our jungle. That's a tasty headshot. Straight through the smoke. Now NQZ and Cold have a chance to hold this two man retake at bay. Smoking a kit on DGT, but neither of these two players are particularly healthy. And with the kit player being only 44 points of health, it would only be two bullets from an AK to take him down. NQZ then swings from triple. And he takes Max beautifully, and I think they know that CT isn't an issue anymore thanks to that. DGT will fall back away, and he'll be saving that M4. Good fight from Zero Zero Nation. Important frag from Cole as the swing comes through, but it gives Zero Zero Nation control towards short. DGT has been tagged straight through the edge of bench, but he doesn't need to worry about apartments because Buddha is... Doing a great job of keeping his teammate away from the danger. But Lato is just taking a straight up duel toward Palace. And that's why. Because it's a fake and they're going toward A. 4v4. 9z are locked out. Really cool call there from Cold Zera. I mean, they're trying to look at what, what options that they had. And they try to circumnavigate the B site. And as soon as Buddha gets that kill. They get that info from Cat. They immediately pounce onto the A site. But this round is not over. A lot of kills going into the favor of 9z regardless and cold zero and nqz have got to do it all two kills for them molly onto the bomb and time continues to expire ddt's got to make a move oh. ddt will get at least one tap but nqz now has to dance around dance around orp versus orp and nqz oh. hits the no scope up close and very well done with those flashes to at least get all that control i think a lot spotted they're just in the b they've Completely sped things up. Dumal gets an outstanding two frags. Cold Zero chiming in as well into the 3v2. Try though. He's still creeping around and that could be a way to get back into this one. Need to get one kill so they know he's around about this position but he's playing with that smoke smartly and NQZ spots him, misses the shot. That will surely activate Cold to come in and help out at some point and in the end it's Lato. Great frag. That's the biggest threat removed. David will manage to switch to the AK, but it's a 1v3. He's got no kit. He might be close to the equation. So he's going to give this a go because of that. That has been boosted up, though, on the top of the box, which makes it harder to figure it out. And that's an angle you're never going to check. That hasn't been able to get that same kind of impact that we were expecting from him. And now Dumao decides to walk underneath the scope of try. Gets another for his trouble. They might not glance at it at the last second. He can hear the running up short. One in the back. Two in the back for Max. And that's the bomb dropped on Cat as well. That's a big double to take. Buddha 
Now in a good position to try and find next as well. Needs his frag, oh. misses the first few bullets. Thankfully, adjusts. And Nato is trying his bat, his best on the other side of the map. Really. He's got top mid trying to win these long range fights. But no devices. I don't think he knew that Dumao were pushed up in front of his smoke earlier on. But now he certainly does. There's a jump spot and there's information. Dumao will come charging in after he gets the knowledge that Buddha is there. But he didn't know that DGT was. Not having to advance it. Make that something less to worry about. But try in connector. Deals with that late flank top mid from Cold. And next in NQZ. Very important. Are they aware of Cold Zera? And did they actually hear the tag? That flash is definitely suggesting, even though it missed, I think the idea is there. Their DGT and Mac in a crunch onto Cold. He's completely nice unaware that his position was noted. Very well done to him, but the real hit is coming to the A side, and NQZ is ahead of it. He gets one kill in, oh. and David makes a lot of noise on the wood wall, and NQZ is quick to react. 3v3 and smokes in, so there should be a plant unless Max and Nick can say otherwise. You might have a chance that nade could be pretty decent toward next. Oh, it does more damage to NQZ in the end, actually. A flash towards CD to get Lato in the action, and he takes a frag, but look at the damage. DGT and Buddha are still very much in this one. Two versus three, not a single player on 0 0 Nation above 50 health. I'm not sure if 9z know that, then they're at least. Damage on one player, but whether they know all three are low, it's not a matter. And it's a double setup on the bin in CT. That is impenetrable, whatever your health yeah, is. To support. Bomb is here. And there'll be a split up cat as well. Try. We'll manage to take the first towards him now. And this is a bit of a ruse, actually. Just a few going through cons to maybe fake an A split, but it's a B split instead. And Budunan just needs to stay alive and play for his team. Swings, takes one. Good job. And this job is almost done in this round as well. Cold will deal with Buddha, but... Bomb can only just go down on time and they're just going to try and deal with it anyway. But hang on, NQZ could just hold off the play here. He's saving his teammate Ooh. and he's saving Cold. Bomb will go down thanks to NQZ as the door play came through. But now he's only got two bullets left. So he needs to hit one of these and he Huge. will find Matt. It's all NQZ this round and it might still have to be. He's got one bullet and he needs to get two kills. That's what makes this so awkward. Nade on DGT, and he's got, of course, a kit as well, so he's just going to hold it, and NQZ can do nothing about it, and even a missed shot in the end will consign him to death for that round. Faster A play, though, straight away to end off this half, and Try is in position for it. Has to strafe back away toward jungle, though, and David is so very blind, so is Try. Tough situation to be in right now. Five versus four, They're executing pretty well. But a dink through the smoke, that's unfortunate for Dumao. He must be thinking, how on earth have I been dinked there? Not, not died. Beautiful CT, Lato goes in oh. and somehow still gets two. Huge. But DGT has got a flank and he's dealt with NQZ nicely. So Cold and Dumao in a two versus three. It might have to be Cold here. Because Dumao, 12 HP from that dink through the smoke. He knows his flank is coming. Flash is coming in, but it won't affect him whatsoever. It's underneath the stairs. So it's now David and Buddha to retake this one. Kit on Buddha, and David goes aggressive to find Cold. So it's Dumal. He should know where he is, and in the end, even though he does so much damage to David, it's a not. And surprisingly, Zero Zero Nation are not willing to, or sorry, Nines are not willing to use their smokes initially to put that out. They're just going to wait, and they're going to re aggress. As soon as they do, they get one opening trade. And there goes Try to get a second. Oh. Try with three, and it's just magical stuff from the AWP. To at least get them a bomb plan and potentially the round here, but NQZ and Doom are quick to arrive. Has one for the ace here. Trying to clean up everyone, but in the end it's stolen away by DGT. But who? So the play gets stalled out, but Buddha's ahead of this utility and he's gonna walk out A here. Ah. NQZ will take advantage of that though. Buddha caught in kinda in transition, I guess you could say. In the midst of coming out ramp and being close to default. Nice win from David, but. Takes a dink from Dumao and a nade almost takes him down. Has to hop around to avoid all that. And he will actually make himself a bit more useful by going in toward window. Actually, oh, this is big. weirdly, they're not seemingly aware of it to be so fast. And NQZ, oh. he goes back to check it at exactly the right time. However, David still rips his head off. Lato, though, just well before that smoke properly blooms, spots him going back in toward murder hole. A good recovery, but Try is lurking up as well. Hold no information on that one because of Lato's position. Oh! And he hits a huge headshot onto Lato as well. Next, now, one versus two. Thinking, how on earth has that just gone so south so quickly? 
He had his knife out it for a moment there, try as well. He still manages to get the headshot. He's got a Molotov at the very least. This should flush out try, but he takes so much damage here. 22 wow. HP, completely unaware of <laughs> Exactly, here. maybe I am. CST will save me. I'll be back. Thank you, Z's not back. That's try winning the duel with the AWP. Straight up fight. And again, we mentioned those two going head to head. Really fun to see. Tries owning at the moment. But Nato, that's a really big hole. Thankfully for 9Z's case, they do have Max as the second man over to get that quick frag. But next up with Boogers at the time, and DGT's oh! pulled out his knife. And why not, to be honest? Never in a million years would you expect next to push that smoke. And just like that, the round falls apart. Zero zero in the corner. And there is a nation going as far as possible, and they flash next oh. in, and they have not blown him up. But it's a good kill to take. It's pretty low, and the nade should have figured it out. But oh my goodness, okay. Look on the other side of the map as well. Tries doing so much work. Ooh. This time, NQZ gets one in response, though. Takes a leg shot, of course. That's cut tends. Oh, that's going to make things much more difficult. They're not going to have the oh, no. cleanest aim pool here. And they try to skirt on to the left side of the smoke, and. Luckily, Max is able to trade. So into the 2v2, David's position is still so valuable here. NQZ wow. cannot read that patience. Did come through and playing against each other is always very interesting. Next up, big frag with that Hamas, and actually Lato helps out. This is a really good choice to mid fight. For zero zero nation, it might not work out for oh. them because Try is just hitting every single flick. It's way too good, but the reaction from zero zero nation is superb. Lato and Dumao still fight for it. It forces DGT to go into a push through Cat on the retake. A boost for the low HP Lato as well to look for the early frag. But DGT is in position. He's full health. He wants to duel. He wants to fight. And he's doing a great job of it. Tri's got a Molotov. That could be even better. They've got smokes and kits, so they need to get a smoke on that as quickly as possible. They're doing exactly that, but DGT's in position. There's knives in the smoke, and they've pulled him off the bomb. No chance for Cold. Cold actually knifed Tri back in the end. Himself toward ramp. Obviously checking for feet on the edge of the balcony there. Flash comes in, that flash oh. could not be better. Could not be better, and it sets up Buddha for the entry. Dumao is now very, very stuck. He's picked up the orc, but he's in an awful position for it. He's a huge multi-frag round, and it's not going to happen for him. David removes him, and David is eager to finish this job, but actually he walks into his teammate's Molotov. Maybe a bit too eager to get this one done, and Try takes him down inadvertently. Try will actually swing for another, and Lato takes him out, so now it's a bit worrying. Back into a 2v2 when they're a little bit too aggressive, and Buda looks like he could go for the round of world play. Max is still in position as well. They have a smoke for the bomb. It's only a tap to begin for now. As you say, no defuse kit in play. Max will reveal his position. He doesn't actually know if they're on it yet. And Lato picks at the right time. But in comes Buddha. There's the long con play. And it's going to work out great. He needs to find Lato in the smoke, though. It's being held by Lato. Still being held. But the smoke has faded. And 9Z, the South American powerhouse, is going to Texas to play in IEM Dallas. Congrats to 9Z for converting a very difficult...